What's up everyone, Don Elmi here. And like many of you, I'm super excited about the long awaited release of the Resident Evil 4 remake. I have already pre-ordered my copy on my PS5. Cannot wait to play it. And so I wanted to do a video that relates to the original Resident Evil game from 1996. And like one of the main things that people love to talk about or you know make fun of uh, about that game is the terrible voice acting. You know, now I've always been more of a fan of the 2002 remake that was originally released on the GameCube and then reported multiple times, just like Resident Evil 4 had been. But uh, yeah, the, the original version, uh, I, it is like notorious for having some of the worst voice acting and dialogue you will ever hear in a video game. And so that's what I want to focus on today. So I found this uh, video from uh, Game Goonie and it's called Resident Evil Voice Acting Horror 10 Minute Cut. And it's, I've had a long week, so I figured I could use a good laugh. So let's jump right into this. Rebecca, what are you doing in this place? All right, let's see. What is this? Stop it. Don't open that door. <laughs> what is it? What is this? Okay. <laughs> like right off the bat. Like... That was clearly, you clearly just heard a gunshot. Hey, come on, you're, you're, you guys are cops. Surely, surely you know what a gunshot sounds like. I mean, do I even need to explain? Like, yeah, this is what we're in for, people. Uh, okay, let's jump back. I'm sorry, let's jump back into this. What is it? Blood. Hope this is not Chris's blood. What is it? What is it? What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. <laughs> that was too close. Oh. <laughs> yeah, here's a lockpick. You, the master of unlocking. <laughs> Who writes this dialogue? Seriously, this is like the worst. Oh, man. Okay, let, okay let's continue on. Figure it out at all. Here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. That was too close. You were almost a jibble sandwich. <laughs> Don't scare me. Oh my god, that, yeah, just that, the Jill sandwich bit, that's like one of the most notoriously bad pieces of dialogue that the original version is known for. Just to add context, uh, there was like one part of uh, the game where Jill uh, sets off one of the traps and the ceiling of a, the, all the doors lock in this one small room that she's in. The ceiling slowly starts to come, you know, down, and she's about to get crushed to death. But then Barry is able to get her out of that room, pulls her right out at the very last second. And so he's just like, oh man, a minute too soon, you fit nicely into a sandwich. At least that's what uh, how he says it in the 2002 remake of the game. <laughs> Don't scare me. That's what I was going to say. But just take a look at this. Just take a look at this. It's forest. Oh my god. It's awful. <laughs> I'm going to find out what caused Forrest's death. Oh my god. It looks like he was killed by a crow or something. Whoa. This hall is dangerous. There must be a back door somewhere. <laughs> Let's try to find it first, shall we? Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, <laughs> especially against living things. Hey. A weapon powerful this? against living this things. It's dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch. <laughs> You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake. And also poisonous. Oh, I told you, don't worry. I'll just go and get some fresh air and be eaten by a monster. You saved me. Yeah. That yeah. was close. Thanks, Barry. Don't mention it. What a monster. <laughs> I can't believe. What the hell is this place anyway? I can't believe. What the hell is this? That's what I was going My to God, say. God, this is bad. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion. That we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. <laughs> Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. 
Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. <laughs> Jill, you're here too. Yes, you're here too? How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. <laughs> this is really beautiful. All this power will be mine. For the sake of an awful creature? My God, Wesker. Don't be upset. All weak people exist to be evil. Don't come this way! No! Don't. <laughs> Jill. You want those to be your last words. It's you. Don't come this way. Barry? I'm really embarrassed to see you now. Just just leave me. Go, go quickly. It's over, Barry. Wesker's dead. Is that so? Jill, will you do me a favor? Even the dying acting is so bad. This is my last wish. Please give this photo to my family. Oh my god. My god! Oh no, you must be kidding. After you've come all the way here. Ladies first. Go first, Jill. But Chris... Give me a chance to play nice guy. <laughs> oh, one of the live action cutscenes. These are always a gem. Your wife? Yeah. My wife and kids, uh, they always wait up for me. Even uh, today, you know, my oldest daughter. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't worry about that. I know you must still be alive. Barry! Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. What is that? I'll go and check. Anyway, what is that? It's a gunshot. Whoa! What is this? What? what? Oh! Oh, no! Are you the only person here from the Bravo team? Well... Because the helicopter made a forced landing. Rebecca? I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. It's me, Chris. Is that you, Rebecca? Can you play? Wait, what is that? See? Just relax and play. Rebecca... I know, I know, but just a little longer. Oh Chris! Chris! You like it? Oh, that was great! <laughs> God, the voice I... Oh, okay, that, yeah, that opens another room. What is that? <laughs> Deliveries on this. A monster! Oh, this again? <laughs> Are you dead? Yeah, like he's gonna answer you, yeah. Rebecca. So much for him. We got to the root of the problem. <laughs> I can treat you, except for your major injury. Would you like me to? Yes, please do something for me temporarily. <laughs> God. Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. <laughs> Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should Pretty we much. do, Wesker? <laughs> Rebecca. Uh, Chris! Thank God you're safe. I'm sorry that you were worried about me. <laughs> we are in great danger. We must organize a search for the others and get the hell out of here. Understood? <laughs> yes, sir. 
so cheesy. Okay, I'll go first. Proceed with your own judgment. All right, can you do it? Yes, I can. Good luck. Enrico. <laughs> Don't come any closer, Chris. Wait, what happened? Double crosser. Don't. God, dying acting is, Who is it? horrid. Is someone there? Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I've never worked for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong. <laughs> Would you like to see it? Come with me. I'm sorry for my lack of manners, but I'm not used to escorting men. Is this? That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. This is not as pitiful savior. as this acting. You say this failure. Is your savior? You can't kill me. Look at the monsters! I'll protect the monsters! Okay, I trust you. Trust Look at me. the monsters! <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. Are you tired, Rebecca? Sorry, Chris. You did a really good job. This case was just too weird. This case was too weird, kind of an understatement. So basically what you just saw is the main reason why the first Resident Evil got remade in 2002. And uh, wow. Like, so like, I know I get that this is probably like the early years of uh, voice acting in video games. It's not nearly as common as we see now in like almost in just about every single game that comes out. And I've seen other examples of bad voice acting in video games like uh, House of the Dead 2. That one had horrible, horrible voice acting. Like it may, it's just as bad as this pretty much. But uh, yeah, like, yeah, like the, the Resident Evil movie that you want, if you want to experience uh, like the first Resident Evil game, they definitely play the, to the, the remake because... Yeah, that's where they improved not only the voice acting, the whole atmosphere. Like a, re a really, they really added a good amount of horror into it. And let you know, it's not nearly as cheesy as the original. And the first Resident, and thankfully, this is not the first Resident Evil game that I had seen when I was a little kid. Um, I first saw Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil Two, when uh, one of my babysitters played it when I was about seven years old. Uh, he played it on his uh, N64. And I've been a fan ever since. Yeah, I've been a fan of Resident Evil for practically my entire life. Yeah. I can't say that I recommend it for every seven-year-old, but, uh, you know, I was different for most seven-year-olds way back then. Man. 1999. Jesus. Time really flies. I mean, that this, is the, this year marks the... Let's see, how long has it been? Oh, man, this franchise has been... It's just about hit 30 years. Yeah, you know, 1996. Yeah, right now the series is 27 years old. Wow, and and it's become one of the it's become like the one of the biggest survival horror franchises of all time. I mean, the first game practically coined survival horror in video games, just fighting your way through zombies and monsters with limited resources. That being said, cannot wait for Resident Evil 4 remake, remaking one of my all-time favorite video games. I uh, can't wait to experience it for myself. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to 10 minutes of bad acting from the original Resident Evil. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you have any suggestions for what I should check out in the future, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.